here as a result of a trip to India, to North India, and uh, I was in Dharamsala, which is where the Dalai Lama has his government and refuge, and uh, it's also a place with a lot of uh, Tibetan refugees. And so we got to know some of the Tibetan refugees, and they were talking about the yaks and you know, the, all the, the good qualities and so on. It sounded really interesting. And so when I got back from India, I went online, as all people do when they're looking for something, and uh, it turned out there's a guy in Ohio that had some interesting. They're sort of like the tails like a horse and the kind of goat feet. And they're, they're good for mountain climbing and things like that, and using this pack animals and use the milk to make uh, cheese and butter, as well as the fiber and then the meat. And uh, I always kind of like interesting things, so that was attractive. And so I bought one. And then, uh, sort of coupled in about the same time frame, I was trying to figure out what to do in terms of retirement. And uh, I thought, well, why not invest in yaks? Because nobody else is doing it. And either uh, they'll be great or I'll lose my shirt. And, uh, you know, on paper, it, it looks like it. It's a real wise investment, and we'll see what happens. That's kind of what happens. You know, the trip, the interesting animal, uh, figure out what to do with my retirement, and how to make it so I can keep going back to India and pay to do that. And in theory, X will generate enough money. To I'm still building, so it's it's pure loss. I've got enough loss to cover any income I make for three years. <laughs> I can be in the hole. So it's good in that sense. I mean, it's you know, it's. Uh, but about, I figure it'll be about three years from now, which is what I thought before it'll actually start generating some money. But a yak will generate two to three times the amount of money as a regular beef animal will. And um, they don't require, these require grass, you don't have to feed them grain or anything. Grass, water, they're happy. I mean, they're, they're kind of goofy. They're, I mean, they're fun, they're curious, they have odd personalities. Uh, you know, I think you just need to be careful because, you know, they, while they're called domesticated, you know, they're still wild.